Hello, and today I'm going to talk about some of my favourite and most used applications, specifically when I'm des designing websites. Um, the first one, obviously, is Firefox. I've got the the web development toolbar and um, Firebug installed, and this is really helpful. I actually prefer it to Safari, both in the way it renders pages and um, the way it, the extensions it has. This is what you see in most of my videos. Um, next one is actually essential for my videos. This is the MAMP web server. Um, it allows me to run a local Drupal installation by providing me access to Apache MySQL PHP. As you, so it allows me to run more than static HTML files. So when I go to my screencast site, and this is what you normally see, this is what I was doing in my previous video. Um, th this is actually the local host, which is that Mount web server. It's a free download. Um, from mount.info. There's also WAMP, which is a Windows version. Next one, pretty obvious, Photoshop. I'm not that good at graphic manipulation, which is kind of funny because I'm supposed to be a web designer, but I, I kind of use it for odd little graphic, odd little graphic manipulations. Um, so that's that. Next, we have Text Wrangler. It's what I use to edit my um, edit my files when I want a simple, sh straight up text editor. There's another program that I'm talking about in a minute that's way more advanced than this, but when I want a simple text editor, this is what I use. As you can see, I've got uh, Two files open at the moment. I got a CSS file and a HTML file. Um, so that's that. Next, I've got ScreenFlow, which is um, what I'm using right now to record this video. Um, and lastly, I've got Coda, which is a really useful tool and I think every web developer should have it. As you see it says uh, I've only got the trial version so it it blocks out some features but for what I want to do Coda is great. It allows you to connect to your web server and edit your files live and one of my favourite features is for just going to the edit screen It has, it predicts what you're gonna type, um, and for tons of different languages. I mean, um, if I said new, it's the SS file, then it would recognize um, if I just did a class of test. Um, so background is URL. It predicts what I'm going to type and realizes that I'm doing CSS. It does this for a ton of different languages. You can also connect to your web server and be allowed to edit your uh, files on, on the server, which is really nice. Um, I typed in the wrong password, but trust me, it works. There's a live 
So yes, I said it. As you can see, it's recognised that class of test, and I can actually manipulate things um, without doing so. So on an margin of zero, and then auto. I can select things right from here and then if we go back to edit our CSS um, it puts that in and, and then we have a, a live preview which obviously is not going to show anything now and one of the most useful features it's is um, we also have a terminal uh, uh, the books that are really good for reference so say I wanted to learn about the, what the border rip, radius command won't. I don't know if it'll have it because it's, it's a pretty new command. I just go search for all the books that it's got pre install HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But let's say I wanted to search for the word DOM, which is basically the document ready. It re recognizes the DOM and then shows me what I can do. And so has clips and a bunch of other stuff, but but yeah, um, I've only got the trial version, so it closes after 15 minutes. So I'm going to do a separate video in the future, kind of going over all the features. But um, for now, that's the end of this video. What are your favorite applications that you use?